Guys, the chicken is here, bringing you another Boomish video. In today's video, guys, we're going to be going over everything that you need to know at uh, four engine rooms. I'm not there just yet, but there's a really bad storm outside. Don't trust that the power is going to stay on. So we're going to go over this now, and you can just pretend that the chicken has four engine rooms, because I am going to get it uh, later tonight in a few hours. So, um, you know, same rules are going to apply. I'm just not going to be able to physically show you, but that doesn't matter. Uh, also, uh, housekeeping. Want to give a big shout out to everyone that's been using the code chicken in the shop. We're doing a giveaway in about uh, at the end of this month on the second channel. So if you're interested in that, just um, use the code, send me a screenshot or whatever, and check out the other channel for more info. And uh, okay, that aside, guys, we got uh, we got almost uh, four engines on deck. And uh, first off, I guess we'll we'll start with OP. Uh, Mr. Destroy, what what happened at first when you went to 4ER? Is the, is it like Scorchers last season that you just um, that you get this big win streak bonus? Holy thunder! Um, or is there is there a little bit more stuff that you need than just the the fourth engine? Well, it's always nice when making that decision to plunge right into the next engine room. Is is it essential or effective to get something uh, after that or save up for that? Um, and since we still got quite a few amount of time left in the season, um, and depending on if you're tech riding or base riding, uh, it'll be different. Um, but when I went fourth ER, my, my uh, Sunboom account, uh, I just plowed through there. I was able to unlock, I think, boom cannons when I did that. Other than that, I, you know, the only real benefit you have going to the four ER instead of staying in the three ER is that those who max out their artillery, it just makes them a little bit more, they have to farm a little bit more to, to use that artillery in 4ER. As we know, the, the engine room uh, health uh, increases. Right. So, other than that, uh, there's nothing, you know, other than 4ER, yeah, you have the advantage over the 3ER players. Yeah, that makes sense. And Shush, before you jump in, um, I was just gonna say, uh, like my kind of experience with pushing today, um, I'm right on the cusp of 4ER, right? I'm gonna get it on the next chest. Um, it's been really rough because I was at uh, like 18 and a half rank and I faced nothing but um, either players that had four engines. So, you know, you're at a huge disadvantage there as uh, someone with three engines or uh, they had max artillery. And basically the only battles I was winning was if people screwed up their attacks or if they didn't have the max artillery um, and they didn't have the fourth engine, but I found it was only players that were like lower um, mid rank 17 that had that. So, you know, out of most of these attacks, um, I, I, I guess I kind of put my foot in my mouth with the one I just showed because it wasn't that and we still lost. But um, other than that, you know, that, that's kind of what it's been. So I feel like getting to, to four engines is, is, is really the key. But, uh, but Shish, what, what else do you think really goes into it other than just unlocking the engine room? Well, yeah, there's another really good feature of 4ER, and it's the deck layout itself, and you've only got one access ramp instead of the two that you see on 3ER. So this in and of itself just conditions all hits to take more time because you've got to cover more space on the 4ER deck. You right. See that? Yeah. So, like, I think that's one of the also really huge advantages of going to 4ER. Like, it's just guaranteed to slow your opponents down. Yeah, um, I mean, the other yeah, thing that, too, that's the biggest thing. Go ahead. Yeah. No, no, go ahead. Oh, yeah, just that you're going to pretty much be fighting people that have 50% defense damage since you're pretty much unlocking that to get there. Yeah, some people could take the sparkier out, but I don't think I've seen anyone crazy enough to do that yet. <laughs> so pretty much everyone's got DBD that goes in there. And, you know, that is the only DBD node in the tree. So you'd kind of, I don't know, I mean, it seems like you got to pick it up. It's the only one there, right? So everyone's got it. So, so stuff hurts a lot more, too, if you're not used to that 50% DBD. Right, and then you pile on the boom cannons on top of that, and then you're attacking, and you're like, where are all my heavies going? They're just kind of disappearing on me. Exactly. So, um, let's take this base, for example, guys. Um, now, we know that we know how to attack with heavy rush uh, at three engines, inside and out. You know, it's the same basic rinse and repeat. There's a couple different layouts, but uh, at four yards, you know, we don't uh, necessarily have um, a new troop meta really because uh you know there is rocket choppers there but it seems like that's not really um been as as powerful as as kind of we th maybe some of us thought yeah 
Um, yeah, Rocket Trappers haven't really seen a lot of successful hits yet, but they might come later as players figure out more how to how to maneuver them properly. For they're the kind of like visible. seekers in a way, I guess, right? It's like they can be very good, but they're also, um, you know, it's, it's a higher skill cap on them because there's less room for error when you're using Rocket Trappers. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's even a higher skill cap than Seekers, I would say, because Seekers don't require flares, but with the Rocket Choppers, you need to be flaring, too. So just one more thing to juggle. Right. So let's just go over this base, for an example. Uh, how would you guys... What, what's the best way to go about it? As a 3ER player, you should just retreat. <laughs> it'll save, it'll my save experience you time. Today. <laughs> it'll, it'll save you time, and you can get into your next match sooner. <laughs> but I'm just kidding. But not really. That's actually what I do on my three R account. But, yeah, uh, pretty well. Yeah, probably the way you're approaching it. Now you've got two options here with bullet. Primarily, you could use either e drink or taunt. E drink will uh, lead to faster times, but it's a bit more risky on the heavies. So if you don't have a lot of, like, say, troop health then taunt might be your better choice here for bullet just to keep those defenses off the heavies because those heavies right, have to stay okay. alive and kill all four engine rooms right there's just so many cannons and you know now that people have boom cannons and and getting boom cannons up to the fourth rank to get you that extra boom cannon that's probably going to be uh if you have the keys for it you probably want to get that right away with your fourth er right that's probably the best uh upgrade you can get after that Right. Now, if you have max artillery, this is probably a good approach to clear and then art that one out. But did, were you able to get it out? Uh, yeah, I think so. But it took me like a long time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But that was so basically I, my I plan. People... Obviously, guys, this isn't the way to attack. This is just a four engine base that I wanted to pull up. Um, but yeah, so like, is it basically just heavy rush, like sprint from engine room to engine room? Or um, like what else goes into it, really? That's primarily what we see. People are running some rifles up at the higher levels, but they definitely have to have shock bombs to go along with that. Right. Because you can't run them through flamethrowers or machine guns or anything like that. They're going to be they're going to be rinsed pretty quickly. Exactly. Uh OP, what are your attacks looking like at 4 ERs? What what are you using mostly? Um well with my Sunboom account, I do have shock bomb and uh I'm able to utilize that. I have tried some... Okay, OP, OP, sorry. I'm going to have to cut you off. Your audio is really bad. I know you're on the beach uh, and you're trying your best. I do appreciate it, but... Uh, the base all dead. Oh, God, he's still going. <laughs> Shish, how do we cut him off? Uh, Just mute him, I guess. I think he, he got the message now. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry, OP. I love you, but yeah, I can't hard. hear you that yeah. well. Um, anyways, now that OP is muted, <laughs> Mr. Robot. Um, yeah, so I mean... Uh, you know, that's, that's basically, uh, the easy way on, on, on kind of, or the, the basics of it, I guess, of, of how we're going to attack and, um, some stuff at 4ER. So when, when does 4ER really blow up, Shishkin? And, uh, like, is, is it once you get to the fourth, you get the boom cannons and you get the max artillery? Like, is artillery going to be, uh, pretty key for the, for the fourth ER meta as well? Did I just mute the whole call? Uh, Shish, did you hear me? Uh, no, I did not. Now, now I can hear you. I'm back oh, again. sorry. I, 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 I thought I muted OP. Off. I muted myself. <laughs> oh, okay. Anyways, anyways. Um, so basically I was just saying, Shish, uh, it, do you think Max Artillery is going to play into the, the fourth engine meta as well? Yeah, it certainly can. Um, but then Barrage is on the way too, so that's something else to consider. But yeah, I've certainly seen a couple guys art out an engine room of mine, and they've all had times of under one minute, which is really fast at 4ER. Okay. So, yeah, because yeah, we're kind of looking powerful. for like, what is it, 245 plus on the attacks for four engines? So far, yeah, around the rank 17, 18 range, I'd say that's what we've been seeing. Um, I guess as you get higher, you're going to get people with more tech, and they can probably get through a little bit faster. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. It's, uh, you know, it, it's a bit of a can of worms, but I mean, like, as long as you can kind of uh, have an idea of, of where you need to go, I, I, I think, uh, you know, rush it to an extent. But would you say, would you go as far to say, I guess, Shish, that you need to get boom cannons to be competitive? Right, like, as soon as you go to four? Man, it's hard to say. I mean, the thing is, is it just seems like that path is just the better way to go unless you actually want to get rocket choppers because you're crazy like that. Right. So almost by default, you'll be getting those boom cannons. Actually, or are those directly out of the gate? I can't remember. Is there even an option? I think you have to get them. I think you do have to get them. Yeah. Um, but I guess it just depends if you have the tokens to um, to upgrade them and the, and the keys to get them right away. 
Yeah, so at a bare minimum, I would upgrade them twice to rank three because that gives you the maximum count of four. That way you'll have four boom cannons on your deck. Right, and they're they're pretty well just one-shotting everything as is, so... Um... Uh, not quite. They'll two-shot everything, but... Oh, yeah. sorry. No, you're talking about heavies, talking about heavies. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah, guys, there's a, there's another loss from the chicken. We're, uh, man, been rough pushing today, but... Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I hope that helps you guys out uh, at starting your four ERs, and um, yeah, from there it's onwards and upwards. We got a lot of stuff to go over. It's a very, I don't know. It seems like there's a lot of there's there's a lot of stuff going on this uh, this tech tree in, in season twelve so far. But um, I I, th I think we're hanging in there. We're, I think we're hanging in there. So guys, big shout out to Shish. Big shout out to Op. Uh, I feel bad for cutting him off, but he he was uh, away from home and uh, we we couldn't really hear him that well. So. Um, yeah, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. That is going to wrap it up for the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you next one, guys. Chicken out. Back, 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 back.